today we're going to be learning how to determine the equation of a parabola in vertex form. So the first thing you're going to do is to determine the vertex and those are the values of h and k. So here the vertex is at 2, negative 4. So the h value is 2 and the k value is 4. So your equation is f of x equals a bracket x minus h squared plus k. So that is your general formula for vertex form. So now we're going to substitute the h value and the k value in. So the h is 2, so it's x minus 2 squared, and the k is negative 4. And that's your first step. The second step is to determine the steps. And you really just need to determine the first step because the steps go 1, 3, 5, 7, usually. And the a value is what you multiply the steps by. So if you just take a look at the first step, the first step is we go over 1, up 3 on either side. So that first step means that 1, first step is supposed to be a 1, and now it's a 3, so that means the step was multiplied by 3. So that is the a value. So the a value is what you multiply the steps by. And since the first step is typically 1, and in this case the first step is 3, it means we multiplied the steps by 3. So whatever that first step is, that's your a value. So then the third thing you do is you substitute that a value into the formula. So the a is 3, the h is 2, and the k is negative 4. And that is it. Now you have some questions, like the next one, where you cannot easily determine what the first step is. You may be able to guess, but you don't know exactly what it is. So we're going to start with our formula. And the first step is still to determine the vertex, which is here at negative 5, 0. So the h is negative 5 and the k is 0. So when h is negative 5, it's x minus negative 5, so that becomes x plus 5, and the k is 0, and you don't need to write the 0. Now the problem is, when you go to find the step, we know we go over and we go down, but we're not sure exactly how much we go down by. It may look like a third, you don't know if it's a third, a half, a quarter, two-fifths, we're not sure exactly what it is. So in that case, what you have to do is to determine any other point that is not on the vertex. So here's the point here, any other point, it doesn't matter what it is as long as it's not the vertex. So the coordinates of that point are negative 3, negative 1. And what you're going to do is substitute those values in for x and y so that you can solve for a. So the negative 1 goes in for the y, which is f of x. And the negative 3 goes in for x.
Then the next step is to solve that for a. So to solve that for a, what you do is do bed mass as much as possible, and then you switch to isolation. So the first thing you can do is inside the brackets, negative three plus five is positive two. And again, you don't, you don't have to write the zero. Then exponents, two squared is four. Now that's as much bed mass as you can do because you can't um, add, let's say that this number here was something other than a zero. You could not add it with the with this term because they're not like terms. So now what you would do would be isolation. So the first thing that you would actually do would have been to subtract this number from both sides, but since it's zero, you would just eliminate that step. So if this was a three, you would subtract three from both sides. But since it's zero, you're really subtracting zero from both sides, which doesn't change what you do. So then, and that's really why you don't need to include the zero. Then what you're gonna do is divide both sides by four and your a value you want to keep as a fraction in lowest terms, and the negative should stay in the numerator. So that makes the a value negative one quarter. So when you go to write your equation, you're gonna substitute those values of a back into the equation. So the A is negative one quarter. The H was negative five. So X minus negative five is X plus five. And the K value is zero, which you don't need to write.